Okay, episode three, here we go. So, I figure at this point it's worth noting that I read up a little bit about like the skills that you probably get next, and from what I've learned, apparently you want to get higher level um, demon tiers, and to do that you want to get like you know more demon seed when you get a chance for it. Additionally, getting higher core here is also pretty important because apparently it'll uh, boost up your um, armor and like you know strength and or spell power by strength. So. That's worth getting as well. The other stuff is also worth looking into as well, but we'll worry about that later. Now, it's worth knowing I also have this thing over here. Just, uh, well, I guess I can't do anything at the moment. Um, uh, let's go into Core Pool maybe right away. You can go over here. This skill here, Bind Demon, is apparently like a summon ability, so I'm just going to put it over here to test it out. Always when no enemies are visible. This town is basically just, you know, their town thing. Okay, let's go zap these guys. Do that. Everything in here is pretty much easy to kill at this point, so. Archmage of some sort. Uh, that's a Rugger Mage of some sort. We're just gonna bump all these guys to death. Kill! Kill! Not sure what my, um... I guess it's my Firebolt that's hanging everything around me. It's kind of absurd. Absurd. General page, Corpool! Aha! I found the accursed undead that plagued us the fairy's dungeon. The skeletal fool was thankful for, thankfully no match to me. I suppose it helped that he had no arms. I found myself an old shield that, in spite of a few dents, seems serviceable enough. Some of these rats are big, and giving them a strong bath with a shield helps to stop their poisonous bites before I get my sword to their necks. I also found a few gems. I may have to hunt around for more. Not out of personal greed, of course, but my noble quest requires that I gather resources to defeat, defeat the great evils of this land and back home. Diamonds are my favorite, so sparkly. Girl page, Corpool. Damn that stomach ease. Damn his insane p experiments. Why in the blackest night did I ever agree to take part in them? Oh yeah, because I was broke. Bah. I think I might have considered things differently had I known I'd be transported without my clothes though. Imagine my embarrassment turning up in a foreign land with my my unmentionables on display. Thankfully, I managed to borrow a robe from a friendly farmer and did some work for him to earn a gold enough to, for a bit of food, a journal, and a rusty old sword. When I heard there were ruins filled with undead nearby, I knew my calling had come. So here I am, mighty sun paladin Tefar, to prove my strength in these foreign lands of the west. But all I've found so far is rats. I hate rats. It will kill a lot of stuff. Now there's a vault here, but I'm not going to deal with that just yet because um, it's of course a vault. And vaults are usually dangerous. We'll sell a lot of stuff. There's a vault in this level 2 somewhere, I believe, if I recall. Maybe that is the vault in the last level, if I, I'm recalling. Alright, well. Let's test this out. So, this bind demon. Basically, I can channel my arcane corruption through a demon seed to temporarily summon a corresponding demon for 15 turns. So, if I want to, I can summon, like, you know, um, like a fire imp, for example. Let's get. Slow 8 to pop out right here. And he'll just basically start killing stuff for me. 
All right, let's uh, charge down here. That's a poor place for him to go. Now, it's worth knowing that the demons aren't very strong, but they can, like, you know, absorb some hits for a while, so that's the good thing about them. Let's do this. Hit you over, we'll shield bash you in the face. Done. Now, it's worth knowing I have to be very careful when I use demons like that because um, apparently it'll injure him, I think. And you know what? I think I summoned the ones that are on my equipment, not the ones that are in here. Yeah, look at that. That's now a 4-2 life when I summon that guy right there, so I have to watch out for their life when I use them like that. That also means that it makes sense to have these guys around because I can have, like, you know, a level 10 rushling pop out, perhaps, to start killing stuff. We'll tax him on and we'll maybe summon him around. Alright, let's go do this. Pull these guys in. Let's throw ourselves a K set. So, or, or not the K set, a rushling. He'll probably rush, or he'll do that. Yep, there's his rush. Oh, well, we killed my wrestling. Now, it's worth knowing, when you have a guy get killed like that, you can re resurrect him. Or you can, like, you know, um, you know, bring him back to life, but it requires another talent that I don't have access to. So, using him like that is basically making him, like, cannon fire when I do it like that, so... We'll avoid doing that with my demons, where possible. It's quiet down here. And dark. Very dark. I suppose I should have brought a lantern. Our motto is to bring light into dark places, but I guess I should have thought about that in practical terms. I've cleared out pretty much all of this area, and there's not much left to explore beyond this last room. This adventuring stuff is quite lonely, I must say. I guess keeping this drill helps a bit. I miss home a lot now. I miss... I miss Thalia. Maybe I should have said something to her about how I feel, but I guess running away on an adventure seemed easier. Ha, ah, how brave of me. I'm not cut out for his paladin work. Here I am, alone in this horrible dark dungeon in an unknown land, with a single sound, without a single sound to keep me company beyond distractions in my own quill. Hmm, except for... Dot dot dot. Yeah, something happens to him. Kill those guys. And yeah, I love my light rays because that's basically, you know, the benefit of having a lantern. I get to see stuff real quick. Alright, let's daze him right to the start. He decided to do that to me, that's fine. We'll get out of, out of that with that. We'll, um... Go shield bash on to stun him. I'll try and demon seed him. We'll do this. Ooh, nice counter strike. So, boink. Boink. Ow. I forgot that you can hurt a lot. Player Beacon! Hey, look at that! I got ourselves a War Imp! Alright, so, the War Imp. Level 15, offhand. Um, basically, this guy will uh, reduce damage by fixed amount. And change resistance to penetration. So, good stuff on him, I guess. We'll attach him to my uh, shield. I'll probably make use of him to show off a little bit. Alright, so I'll get another point in this at level 12, so that'll be a little while off. Let's we'll boost up my strength a little bit more. Let's get Heart and Core up a little bit. And I'll boost this up to 5. And now let's close this off and we'll not worry about that anymore for a little bit. We'll explore the rest of this level. Well, I guess that's it.
Hopper Ring of Power. That gives physical power, spell power, and mind power. I might take it off from this then. I'll put this on. Yeah, look at that. That one's his finger, so. That's indeed how they work. Put to the light one. Oh, well, it just means I have to try and get myself access to um, a thing. I'll just keep that around for now. Well, actually, you know what? It makes sense I can put this on now because I've, I've got. I can put that on now, I think. Make use of it. Yeah, it's done. Alright, I'm keeping both of these, I guess. I'm actually getting rid of this right now. Now, something I know, by the way, is that I actually have lost encouragement because I'm a strength-based character, so I'm actually not worrying about weight as much as I would on, like, a non-strength-based character. Okay, now, here's something possibly reckless, but I'm going to go in here, and we're just going to see what I can get to kill. Maybe I'll get some good stuff in here. I don't have to worry about too much about what's up. going to attack. There's a nice regeneration infusion of Titan. Oh well. Kill him. Now I have something to worry about. That's a skeleton, so he might pose a problem. Let's do that to him. I'll shield stun him. Do a block. I'm not going to worry about the demon seeds too much in those guys because they're a little bit more dangerous. This guy's not as dangerous though. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's another vault. That one's got the armor skeleton in it, so that's a little bit more threatening. And let's go days. We fill the days, so we'll try stun. He's blocking. I'm not sure I want to hit him right now. Oh, we stopped blocking. Kill him off instantly, but whatever. Amethyst. Open. Oh, that makes me happy. I got through those guys easy enough. I don't think I picked up anything of really a note, so... Oh, that's worth picking up. Or equipping, so put it on. Uh, hat's not too bad to keep around. That's only 5% lightning, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Well, that's core pool out of the way. Where to go next? I think we'll go ahead to our last hope and I'll try and get that um, other thing. Oh no, the adventure party. They killed them. They killed them all. Do do do. What have you got for me? He's got the role of force in here already.
Let's go check out the infusion shop, maybe. Nice, they got some nice stuff in here. I'm tempted to buy disc because it's higher value, but... I might buy disc just because it, it'll scale up my, my um, strength stat. No, I'll buy this for now. I'm buying this for now because I'm probably going to find a better infusion in this eventually, so... Put that right there. Nice little icon for shield ball, I guess. A real reflection. Bye. That's that's just you know simple buy. Now it's worth knowing I have to be very careful of ruins because apparently they counteract osmosis shield. Um, how osmosis shield basically it's like an armor, and it'll like apply stacks based on like you know how much damage you receive. But having something like, you know, Reflection Shield would be good to have just because it'll reflect damage, so it'll pay off to have something like that. That's something I know. Basically, this is a character that doesn't really benefit from Shielding Ruins. Or, uh, Lightning, you know, Ruins. Let's go to Ungrel here. What do you propose? Sounds like plan, blah, blah. I accept. I want Foundations, and we'll help you out. Yeah, let's we'll go kill the Necromancer. I probably should be reading like those like little alchemist players, but basically, um, they're like gopher quests. No one cares about gopher quests. Now let's go up in this direction. We'll try and find the uh, lumberjack's village. I just ran into a bunch of adventures. Well, this will be fun. What are you? You got lightning, man. Frost. This guy is an arc mage. This will be fun. And he's gonna fire congeal time right away. That guy's got ice claw. Or oh, this guy's a wormick. I think he's got the Warmick talent that the undead have, undead like dragon, so that'll be fun to fight. Good, hit this guy hard. These guys are elite, by the way, so I might be able to get Demon Seed from them. That's one good thing to say about them. Um, hmm. Let's like pop. Oh wow, did I take a lot of damage right there? Yeah, you can't mess with these guys. Too casually because they can hurt you a lot. Take a lot of damage to that too. Let's just do this. I'll pop over here. If I pop over here, I might be able to get out of range of him to see me. This will give me some time to heal up. So I'll stay here for a moment. Let's pop out um, the War Imp now. Good time to pop him out just to distract guys. And give me you know, some HP basically to regenerate back. Oh, something killed him, so he's out of the way. Let's, um... Well, he uh, ice blocked me there, but whatever. I'm going to activate this. We're going to uh, do this to this guy. Hopefully to daze him. I didn't daze him. Oh, well. Do that. He's already healed up quite a bit. That's a bit annoying. That means his lightning's probably back, too. Let's get this back on. We'll go with um, stun. Kill him. I 
F8 this. He might have a phase door. Not uncommon for mages to have. Ow. Yeah, he's trying to basically stay out of, like, you know, range of me so he can't, like, you know. Oh, that hurts a lot, that lightning damage. Let's do this. I'll activate that. That's how I, like, that's how I got injured so much, that lightning that this guy popped off. Let's see here. I want to do what? I get hit by lightning yet again. That hurts. For some reason, I'm able to see him over there. That's cool. I'm just going to stay here for a moment. Yes, Archmages are dangerous if you haven't caught onto the fact yet. Okay, there he is. I'm going to activate this. I'll do that to him. He did Nova on me. That's a waste of a talent, so that's cool. I stunned him. Killed him. Alright, well, adventures. They are never fun to fight. And that just shows why. And this is a nightmare. Imagine those guys on higher levels. Alright, this is nice for extra life and heal mob, but eh. Alright, it's worth putting on. The other armor I don't have is, isn't really going to compare to it just yet, so. On a rare time, the so light armor is a little bit less than a heavy armor, massive armor. All right, I will be there. Lumberjack, hooray! We'll go save the lumberjack. All right, let's make sure I have a offhand. Okay, this guy's dead because he took too much damage. That guy's dead because he's, you know, dead. Lumberjack falls dead to the ground. Where is he? There he is. I can rush. Affect this. Pop him to daze him. We'll demon seed him so I get my demon seed. Oh, there's the cursed moon. Increase my healing by a lot. We'll just get rid of that right away. Let's uh, do that. There he goes. Rest in peace. Alright, well, I can get myself Demon Seed up to a little 3 of 5. So I'm actually going to leave this down at uh, 2 of 5 for a moment because I'm going to see what um, Demon Seeds I can get of like Tier 2. Basically... The more levels you put into Demon Seed, the like higher levels of demons you can basically like, pick pick out of the, of the lot. So I want to like you know just to see what type of like level two seeds I'll get. Basically, get. leave this to down a little bit. So we'll leave this to two of five for a little bit, and then when I'm you know satisfied with the seeds I've gotten, I'll get the little free. Let's uh, I don't know. We'll get weapon mastery up to three of five for now. But yeah, basically I'll get, like, you know, stuff. What type does Frost gra Grab do for me?
Grab a target and pull it next to you, covering it with frost while reducing its net movement speed for 50% for 5 turns. Alright, so this is a nice little uh, debuffer. That's not bad. But I think I prefer to, to fire him for my weapon attack for now. It just goes off actively, so I don't really have to worry about like stuff like that, so... Yeah. It is a cool ring to put on. We'll put it on. I really don't need this extra pickaxe, so we can transmogrify that. And you know what? Let's explore the world map. Or try to. Adventure patrols are going to be a nuisance. There is the hidden compound. There's trouble. There is the Elven Ruins. You know, I don't remember it being this many uh, patrols. Adventure patrols. I don't think it's a bad idea to have this many adventure patrols to avoid, but... They're annoying. As anyone can tell you, the adventure patrols are annoying. Okay, where is uh, the Grimly? I've got to go search for him in all the usual spots. There he is. Hi, Grimly. Just yell at me with you know, caps lock text, and we'll get our focus. Alright, so. Um, Ungirl is probably going to be the easiest one to get right away. Vile of Greater Doom Vile will be possibly something I'll pop up sooner or later. Durf is apparently... Um, I could actually go for Durf's like, Elixir Prison right away, but what I really want to do is go for Grimly's, which is going to be the hardest to get with that multi hue worm scale. But whatever. Alright, well, these two are done, those dungeons. Let's go visit the Skintling Caves. Stay here. Alright, I've got this thing. Let's put this over there. And let's just go boink. And we already got troublesome guys to worry about. Ow. Well, whatever. These guys are so low level at this point, they're not really going to hurt me, so... The Research Journal Part 1. I have been given permission to explore the Skintling Caves to the east. Normally they are sealed off, but having a fire on the council has its uses, even if he is normally a dumb buffoon. These caves are the site of where the spell base began. An ancient Chateau Farpool lay be buried here, and our ancestors tapped into that power to their destruction. Many of the greatest Shaloran mages stood here, and when the energies beyond comprehension erupted, they were all annihilated instantly. It was a terrible loss to our people, such knowledge and power lost forever. Now, the ancient ruins have been overgrown by crystals. Reports say that they grow each year. Could they be alive? I must admit that stepping into the starting place of the spellblaze fills me with immense trepidation. This was where the great destruction began, that tore for our world, wiping out cities, tearing the world apart. And yet, look at the beauty here. Ow. Huh? Now, that's something, no. Oh, would you look at that! Rush just became an escape talent. That's interesting. So I can actually use Rush to, like, you know, go wherever I want to. That makes Rush, like, stupidly overpowered, to be honest. It's essentially, like, you know, um, the rogue's ability to, like, move around instantly without problem. So to speak. Do do do. All right. Well, that's the first level of the Skintling Caves out of the way. Let's go here.
Well, that's different. Rush being used like that. Of course, I have to be very careful using it like that because I don't have a whole lot of, like, you know, ways to move. Well, that's a grizzly bear. I was wondering what that was for a moment. I've definitely seen crystals move their own volition here. And some even seem capable of producing magical effects in self-defense. They are no threat to me whatsoever. My arcane powers are far beyond whatever latent magic seems to possess these things. Possession is what it al almost seems like. These crystals are not natural. I have broken down and studied them, and the very structure of the material seems vastly distinct from any other I have seen. I have even studied structural relics in the academy, and this is most certainly something different. Truly fascinating. Alright, well, we got ourselves a Mind Slayer. Let's go do this, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do... Um, that. Nope, no Demon Seed. Oh well. Kill him. I probably shouldn't be killing weak rares like that. Like, you know, animal rares, because... They have a good chance of possibly, you know, being turned into Demon Seeds if I just, you know, Demon Seed them again. Earth, Water, Fire, Air. These are the elements we forge our magic with, and all of these I have seen manifested in the crystals here. But there is something else, something different. There are dark crystals here, which seem to possess some new destructive element, a very twisting of the nature of the other elements, warping them into malign designs. Why have I never seen this before? I must study it. I must understand it. I must comprehend its very nature and hold its power in my hands. The first, for knowledge, is all-consuming. I shall name this new element Blight. Now, Laird of Wiseman, dearest Wiseman, sorry to cut your beard washing session short, but I must bring this bandage to an end. I have tolerated your ridiculous pompousity and false heroics long enough. At first, I took your overinflated tales of barring local wildlife with good humor, but now I realize with dread that you are sincere. You believe your pathetic wanderings to be stuff of legend. Well, no more. We shall meet seven days from now in Durfinstown Square. Come prepare for travel. The number of rumors claiming that a monster has taken up residence within the ruins just north of the town have grown to the point where they cannot be considered rumors anymore. You shall come with me, face these creatures alongside me, and experience intimately the vast difference in your skills and my own. If we're lucky, you will learn to lessen unscathed by fear that such a trial may cost you a limb or two. Prepare yourself if you've the courage, Rolf. That's the last, uh, or the second last letter from Rolf the Wiseman in that little escapade. Oh, it's fun reading that. That's something I really like about Magiel. It has like the, you know, adventure type of feel going for it, like initially. Before it turns into like, you know, um, an event after that. Where like you're, you know, you're fighting against like evil mages trying to destroy the world. Ooh, an orc. Hello, orc. Got myself an orc heart already. Nice. Prismatic. Alright, kill cool, that stuff. Lucky Halfling's Foot. Or Proxy's Halfling Foot, rather. Still haven't picked up any more stuff, that's unfortunate. Um, 
Removes day um pun pin, sun's pissing days each turn. You know, I don't mind being able to like remove stuff, but eh, whatever. Where is the boss? Ooh, a stone giant. The one of those already then. Here's just General 5. I sought to reach out and touch the abyss, but I found it touched me first. I have been blessed. I have been fully awoken. Woken. There is a wonder here. A wonder beyond all else I have ever seen. A crystal of amazing intricacy and beauty with a hail of power that echoes all... um. Echoes of the original energy of the Spellblaze. All the power that our ancestors unlocked mixed with the glorious corruption that it triggered. What beauty! What tremendous beauty! I felt it touch me. I felt it reach into my heart and beam with its strength. I stood entranced as the energy flowed into me. Oh, how the blood now courses through my veins, blood corrupted with true power. I see now the path that lies before me. The Spellblaze was not a curse, it was a blessing. I must open our people's eyes to the glory that our race have unlocked. I shall bring the wonders of this corruption to the whole world. Ah, annoying. Oh, there it is. Boink. Ah, let's see here. Let's uh, just drag you into your own bolt there. Let's just stun it so we can't do anything for a moment. Put my demon seed in it and kill it. And I got myself a Rexling. Alright, well, um, I was hoping I'd get more than a Rexling from that, but whatever. I got a Rexling. Main hand, Grant's gonna throw some slashes. Now, here's a question. I wonder, like, being like a higher tier will mean I get higher tier, like, you know, um, talents, basically. And not like different, like, you know, demon types. Research Trail Part 4. I can see it now. I can see it so clearly. The forces that work here are not of this world. They are a result of the spell blaze, from the tearing of the fabric of our world. And from the outside that fabric, something else. Something truly powerful trying to force its way in. I feel I can almost reach out and touch it. Such awesome power it is. It does even rival the renowned powers of the Chartool. The crystals are the corruption of the elements of Magiel. These outside forces are changing the very makeup of the realm of our world. This cavern is truly a garden of lights, a font of growth and energy. Who knows how far this garden wonders could spread if we encourage it more. Perhaps the whole of our world could be enveloped in this kindling glory, a grand corruption for all yell. I've begun to train myself in controlling the blight. It takes much energy, drains my very vim, but I can feel the tremendous power behind it. I must tap into it more. Got Serpent's Glare. Alright, well, that's basically this level. Ah, oh, it's kind of disappointing the amount of loot I've been getting, but whatever, it's early on, that's kind of expected. You don't get good loot until later on. Well, let's just, uh, hop on over to the Valoran Inquisitor. Nope, we'll stay here. These like perfect mages won't be able to stand up to me. Oh right, there's that one over there. Uh, option unlocked. New cosmetic race option. Red skin. You have used a lot of demon seeds to increase your power, proving your devotion to corruption forces. You can now create new characters with demonic red skin. Okay. Let's get that going. Okay, you're an archer, apparently. Let's just pull you right up to me. And we will go... Summon... A case it. I got a case it. Put that guy right there. You can rush out and hit him in the face. Welcome level 13. When do I get that case it? 
Oh, right here. Apparently I did get, you know, I got a case hit. That's nice. Alright, so I got rush from that. That's cool. So... Let's see here. Rush. Now here's a question. Can a rush be copied from items to, like, you know, your actual talents? Or can you only have, like, one form of rush at any time? Seems to be the case that I can only have one type of thing at any time. Apparently I got myself um, a couple of guys for my rings now, and that's nice. We're getting better stuff. Lair of Lauren Camp. The Skizzling Caverns must be protected. Our great leader is or it's so. And his word is more binding than, our, than any law. Our numbers are few, and we must move, uh, move in secrecy. But quiet walks will be made on the caverns. Any who are seen to interfere in them must be lured here to our place of strength, and brought before me for inquisition. More have joined our cause. Their eyes have been opened to the injustice our people have suffered, blamed by the other races for their spellblaze and its effects. They are sick of the cowards of the council who sit in silence as we are scorned and hate across the world. But most of all, they are inspired by our great leader, and the power he has gained by slaying the spellblaze. He alone realizes our first full potential. He alone can see in our hearts what we are truly capable of. He has blessed me, rescued me from a tortured life, and touched me with his power. Only he can lead our people with his master of the world, will see our strength and recognize us as the true force to be reckoned with. Trust in his power, for he shall bring us all the glory of the Inquisitor. That's that. Um, you know what? Let's just boost this up to 3 of 5 for now. And let's go boost up my strength a little bit. And let's boost up weapon mastery to 4 of 5. And let's just get on our way to killing stuff. Hey, I got a demon seed. Oopsie stummy. Get rid of that. Do this. Eh. We're going to back up from this guy. You can see him again. Nope. I'm running out of time to demon see him, right? So. Alright, so I can't hit him multiple times, and eventually it might give him a demon seed. So I got myself a case it. So there's another case it, so. I can put that on my thing for better use. Oh, nice, you get mana from, like, you know, some of this stuff, apparently. Or other stuff, I guess. Then one hit, that's cool. Let's put it on that one, then. It's funny how I got a level 18 guy right there, and it's like, you know, whatever. That guy's dead. Do do do, Laird of Wiseman. Wiseman, the tentacles, I still remember them. They flashed into my mind as they lashed into my flesh. How can nature abide such a, a being in a realm? What dark plane of existence could it have been born from? How can creation itself tolerate such an aberration? How do we survive? I have no clue. All I remember is pain and panic and fear. All I could think of was getting away, fleeing to my shame of all our thoughts left me. Lots of you, home, the world. All I could do was keep hacking away at the thing between myself and freedom. Perhaps that is why it didn't. No, I shall not think of it. The beast is certain, certain to fill my nightmares tonight. I won't allow it to fill my waking thoughts. Rest easy, brother. It may have taken your eye, but I think of what else it could have taken. Anyway, I should be leaving for Tarim soon. Maybe I can drown the image of the monster in a sea of ale. Make sure you write the words on your next letter nice and big. Rolf. They found something terrible. And that was actually the end of the fate. There actually something that happened after him after that, but... You'd have to be a dwarf to find out what that is. 
Don't troll. There's a fire imp in here, apparently. Hello. Pop. Pop. All right, all done. We are all undone there, so now we'll go kill the uh, Relorn Inquisitor, I guess. So effects on only hit. Chance to inflict damage reduction, damage when hit. All my stuff. I like the maximum life I'm getting from this, so we'll keep, no, ignore it for now. That gets critical multiplayer, resistance to light. Um, slow school speed by 30% when I hit stuff, I guess. That's all nice stuff. I like this. That's a nice helmet. Or, uh, light source, rather. I'm gonna transmorphify that. And... Enough of that really interests me a lot. Mox was worried about Letter to Rolf 1. Dear Rolf, I hope this letter finds you well. I must apologize for this recent dry spell in our communication. My adventures across Magia have taken many exciting and perilous turns as of late. What turns do you speak of, you ask? I know how you delight in reading the accounts of my exploits, so I shall waste no fair time on this preamble. Imagine, if you will, a wolf. Imagine a beastly wolf. A wolf with strength, ferocity, and lust for a flesh matching that of an entire pack of his leisure kind. You too may have some experience with these wargs, as the locals um, are wont to call them. Now, imagine one of the size of a bear. Truly, as I travel the lands of Crusarine Durfte, I come across a monstrous, awe-inspiring lupine adversary, with fangs of length to match my own blade. I entered the combat against this lupine lord and skulking brood. To my regret, I failed in slaying a beast, but I assure you, simply surviving against such feral rage is an honor worthy of recognition and renown. And indeed, would there have been much glory in killing such a creature? True. I would have had enough to fur the line each and every boot and hat and derf, but legends must live on. There, what gives word is very spirit. With eager intention to reply, Wiseman. Yeah, that's like the type of letters like what um Wiseman is saying to Rolf. Hello. Do do do. Of halfling feet. Some men have said that the feet of halflings can nay be harmed, not by fire, blade, nor magic. And they do say that this is truly a stunning thing. And some men consider the foot of halfling to be an item of great luck and protection, and many have one hung above the store or mantle. Though these days, tis frowned upon to go hunt for one, so tis considered a prize heirloom to be passed from far to sun. But women do look upon men and the credit fools, for how they say, say thee, can a foot of halfling be a lucky thing? when with their large and comely feet, they are not able to wear shoes and footwear of elegant crafts and beauty materials. And especially tis a great misfortune unto them, as with their short stature, they could really do with a decent pair of heels. And lo, tis still mystery why halflings do look upon humans and say, the big folk really are very dumb. Do 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 do. Alright, well this guy's being annoying. Uh, let's just do that, and we'll do this. Uh, let's back up. Charge, kill. Excellent. Now, what have I got in seeds here? I gotta basically keep looking at these seeds to see if I'm getting anything better than what I currently got. And let's see here. I got Dwuffledin. So, this is a tier 3 demon seed. That'll give me... Um, Vim when hitting in melee, I'll get 1. So basically whenever I hit someone, I'll get Vim. That's pretty good. That's probably better than... Um, 
these ones down here. So let's replace one of those guys with this. And this grants itself if you for demons. Do I really need to worry about seeing demons? I've already got WC demons. I guess I could summon a demon. That'd be one thing I could do with it. Eh, maybe I'll do that then. Attach to item. Let a ruler in camp. For too long we have been taught that the spell base was a tragedy. That we are responsible for a deaths of millions and for suffering across the world. These are lies. Lies spread to defame us to prevent our people from using magic to its rightful degree. The lesser races are jealous of our power, of our amazing potential, so they think to keep us underfoot, to stop us from ascending to our rightful place in the world, they fear us. The truth is that the spell blaze was an experiment that went wrong. Many of our greatest mages died from resulting energies and some lands nearby were set ablaze. But there was no loss of life amongst the other races. It is their own wars that caused that, and their own squalid societies that brought about the plagues that followed. Many centuries later, a great natural earthquake occurred to tore the lands apart, and yet races have the audacity to blame that on us. For this reason, they persecuted us during the spell hunt. Many of our mages were killed, mercilessly, and even those with no fiend of magic were brutally slaughtered in a terrible crusade. Even today, we suffer discrimination and persecution, and tales still spread of innocent shoulder and burned at the stake or chopped it to pieces. And what does the council do? It sits in silence and hopes people will just forget. But no more. The time will come when the truth shall be known. And retribution will fall on any that denies our rights. The Inquisitor. Do 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 do. Wow, that's a lot of mages, all at once. We're gonna let these guys come to us. Yes, hit your friends. There we go. First kill. Second kill. Third kill. Spell Hunter's Guide, Part 2, How to Battle a Magic User. Those who raped the force of the nature with their malign wills doubtless unlocked great powers to their advantage. We have noble cause with our abilities aligned to the nature's threats can struggle to equal the terrible might of these unholy mages. But we must persist, for our cause is just and a threat to the world from the terrors of the arcane evils cannot be understated. Too long has the yells suffered the torture of their presence, and so we must fight with all the powers that nature can give us. Mobility is key against spell, sing spell singing with warlocks and wizard witches. One must rush at full speed toward them and hack them down, not giving them time to utter a spell of attack or defense. Against multiple opponents that could be difficult, and retreat to lesser open space is often vital. Do not consider this cowardice, for you play a weaker hand and must take all advantage you can, you can acquire. Get in tighter environments and keep behind a concealed corner until they are right upon you, before unleashing all your strength against them without warning. Nicromancers and fell conjurers can present a great threat when they summon their dark minions to overwhelm you. Off it's best to take out the wizard first, Though it presents risk, you must raise your will and suppress all pain until you come right upon him and then strike him down quickly before retreating to a safer area. Stunning or dazing the castle before you've had a chance to summon A can also help immensely. Hexes and curses can wreak terror upon you, and you can do and you would do well to have an infusion that removes these and other blade magic effects when facing Drake Oculus. Infusions that augment your natural healings are also a must for difficult battles. And remember to show no mercy, for they will give you none. Alright, let's finish these guys off. Lerlorn Camp. I have great news. Our glorious leader has written to me, telling me of his travels. He is on a great pilgrimage, a holy quest to discover more about the spellblaze and its powers, so that we may show the truth about it to the, to the world. It is a quest fraught with peril, for we have many enemies in the world, but by his powers he cannot fail. He cannot, he cannot. One day soon, he will return to us and bring us to our proper glory. Look forward to that great time when he is amongst us once more. Be ready for that moment when he stands tall before us and looks at us with his deep eyes. Work hard now and be attentive in your duties so that we may make him proud. We fight for him, we struggle for him, and if need, needs be, we will die for him. He is our hope and our glory and our only joy we have in this dispassionate world. Inquisitor. Alright. We'll go finish these guys off. Hello. There is that done. We'll get the Demon Seed. We'll go over a Sheath Slam. Let's go with uh, Stun. And we're done. So, Raw Annulment. That's nice. It's carefully preserved Valoran Camp Letter. My dearest, I hope this letter finds you well. 
I worry for you. So close to the city, so vulnerable should they find our base. But I trust in your strength, and I know you will be safe. Yet should anything happen. I wish you were here with me, able to share in the wonders I have seen. Yet this journey has far more perils. The Ziggurath have been honest, tracking us relentlessly, spoiling many of my plans. They are truly a force to be reckoned with, but luck is with me. I have managed to capture one and find out the location of their base. Soon we shall prepare an attack that shall put an end to the threat forever. Ah, but there is something more exciting even than that. Near the char charred scar, I have uncovered a truly amazing thing, a mark of cell blaze. Oh, how I look long for you to be here with me to see its wonders. You of all people know my passion so well, and what delight you would find in what I have discovered here. Here is where our future lies. Here is where we shall gain the power to truly strike out on our own. Look after our people well, and keep strong our base, for when I return, it shall be soon, I hope, and it shall be in glory. With passion abound, your dearest love. Alright, well, let's go finish these guys off. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And yeah, I'm rushing a little bit because I basically want to get this done and we'll end this episode because I've actually gotten close to an hour at this point. Um, we'll move that to my normal inventory. We'll use a raw recall to get out of here. And that's basically going to be it for now. When I come back, we'll basically go visit the uh, Loren Star Dungeons. And I will probably start setting forth to do some other stuff. Maybe Sandworm Lair will be fun to do. Alright, so for now, take care.